Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don and today we are back with a new video in the Oculus Quest 2. That's right. I know I've, I've been kind of ignoring my baby here. I, I love this headset. You guys know I love this headset, but I've been playing with my other toys and now it's time to get back to checking out some cool standalone VR stuff. So today we're going to be taking a look at Jurassic World Aftermath and you know, I gotta say, so far, eh, all most of the Jurassic World, Jurassic Park stuff that I've seen over the years has been kind of lackluster. Now, this looks pretty interesting. I, I really dig this art style, so I can't wait to jump into the game, and I can't wait to take you guys with me while I do, so let's go. <laughs> Okay, nice. Like I said just a second ago, I, I, I kind of thought I was going to dig the animation style in here, and I really, really do. I, it looks hand-drawn, it looks cel-shaded, so, you know, I, back in the day I used to love a game called uh, 13, I think it was called, and, and man, it was just Hello? wild. Hey Sam, it's Mia. Great timing. I just wanted to check in before landing. Oh, yeah. Thanks pilots, for checking right? in. Um, Say not hello. not really. Hey, I'm Carlos. You all right back there? Uh, yeah, Carlos. Do not distract me. Sorry we didn't get a chance to speak at the jetty. And for the, uh, economy travel. Oh, uh, yeah, it's it's kind it's of budget here. You see that by my feet? You know what that is, Miss Everett? That's the sky. Uh, Dr. Everett. And relax. So long as she gets us there and back, tomorrow you can buy a whole fleet. Or at least a floor mat. Just steer. And watch out for clouds. Mia, we're approaching the south shore. Isla Nublar. It's like coming home. Nice, where is okay, it? Okay, Sam. Oh, check Let's it out. Geared up. All right. Look on the table. I left you a body cam. Nice. There we Perfect. go. Perfect, that's attached. That camera's connected to my tablet. It's like looking straight through your eyes. Sweet. Oh, that cabin. Well, I thought you fixed that door. I did. I found the cabin. It's there someplace. Okay. Well, why won't it let me pick it up? There we okay, go. Sam, we'll be descending low over the NMS center and landing at the north dock. Should be minimal surf. You and I will take a dinghy to the ranger depot while Carlos and Juan refuel. And don't be so long. Our pilot respectfully reminds us that Isla Nublar is still under quarantine and doing prison time. No es ninguna broma. We've got one hour to enter the lab and recover the genome. Uh, yeah. Once the dinghy's loaded, it's straight back for takeoff, scheduled no later than... Me. What? Look. They're huge. What? Well, what's huge? Oh, sweet. Can I see them? Okay, just relax. They're not Out the window to... or something? Oh, shit. Whoa, hey now! Hey, Sam, I'm trying. Shit, um, how many do we have? Um, hey, hey, guy. Could, could you get off my plane? Um... Shoot! I've opened the locker. Shoot! Oh! 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 Okay. Oh, look. Is it empty? Uh, yeah. There's no shoot, man. Uh -oh. hey, hey, bud. Um, this is not good. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, it would have been better if you had a parachute for me, man. Like, totally 
Zero stars. Would not recommend this trip. Uh, oh, oh, hey. Hey, now. Hello. Very cool, cell-shaded, hand-drawn looking T-Rex. Um, please don't eat me. Um, hey, hey, bro, you might want to be quiet. <laughs> That's cool. Uh oh, 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 everything's going black. Oh, man, it sucks to be you, man. Uh, you, you probably should have been quiet and still. You, you obviously didn't see, like, the first 19 of these movies. I don't know why I want to say, Nugget, behave. <laughs> it's like my dog. Um, hey, bro. Yeah, why don't you go see what that noise is? Yeah, I have my little hands. Hey, could you real quick bite off the back of the plane or something so I could get out? That'd be I like like ideal. No. Okay. Can I open this? No. Can I move that? No. Oh wait, I can just go out this door that was open right behind me the whole time. Okay, so here we are in the complex, and uh, I think this is where the brunt of this game takes place, and man, you know, the, the one thing I am going to give them credit for right off the bat, I mean, the graphics look really good. Uh, I mean, it, it's definitely befitting of the quest, uh, and... and you know, obviously, you gotta tone things down, uh, you know, to run them in the quest too, and they 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 really played to that strength by doing this animated cell shaded. I, I mean, it, it just it it really comes off nicely, in my opinion. I don't know. I, I love stuff like this. All right, let's see. No. 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 No power. And these doors look all to be locked. So whatever am I to do? Oh, it is an open vent. I shall crouch and crawl through it. Uh-oh. That's not good. And I will say, you know, frame rate definitely running at 90, because uh, this is butter, 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 butter smooth. Oh. Who are you? Uh, uh, hello. Well, you're quick. Oh, yeah, you're probably a velociraptor. I probably didn't want to say hi to you. You're probably a very bad lizard. Hey, cool. I'm in that door. But it works now. Uh huh. Good, you're safe in there. 
Info West service bunker. The alarm. You probably heard the siren in Costa Rica. I think my knee is broken. Oh man, that would hurt. When I landed, my ship got caught. And we need to get a message out. No one knows we're here. Fortune to make sure. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Nope, that didn't work. It's one, nine, six, seven. One, nine, six, seven. There we go. Thank you, lady. Flip. That sounds promising. Yep, it, it, it really did. It, it sounded like things like, you know, powered up, and now, now I, like, I feel like you know, much better about the situation. The lights are on, and it's it's really making me feel safe. Like nothing in here can get on the me. Wall. Like See that map? any velociraptors. The NMS or... is split into sections. Zone A is residents and corporate. Ignore it. Zone D and E are the labs. It's my life's work, but it's not the priority anymore. So forget it. We'll forget that for now. That leaves B and C. Transport. There's a radio tower above the ranger station. If we want to call for help, that's our best bet. Head back to the breaker and activate transport. Okay. No, I'm, I could probably do that, you know. I mean, if that's really what you want. and I mean, if it, it'll, it'll be helpful, you know. Um. Nope. Aha. No. -uh. Oh, is there a finger around here? Hey, somebody leave your finger. Anybody? Anybody lost a thumb or index finger or anything? Got it bit off? I would take it because it might open that. No. What am I supposed to do? Can't go this way. Can't, well, is there another way to go through that breaker room? Yeah. Exactly. Yes, that's oh, it. Oh, now I can have it. Check the arrow on the back of your hand. Nice. It'll point wherever you need to be. Okay, when you're ready, head to the atrium and follow the signs. Transport and ranger station. Finally kicked in. 
So this used to be the welcome concourse. Keep going. You'll find a way through. Oh no. Not those little combi bastards. I heard one. Timed thing. Well, yeah, it's probably the the door right here with the green bar over it. It's not rocket science. Can I have a weapon? Is this a bag of guns? No. Oh, got some alien isolation vibes going on here. I have a feeling I'm about to have to be hiding in stuff. So I really hope that, that there's more action in this um, than just run and hide. be able to like punch those little things. Monogram. They always brought in yellow thin tuna from the dock. They drove the birds crazy along the coast when they smelled the coming. When we evacuated, we were so lucky. Right after the last boat, the Indominus tore through the track. Even if you got it running, it's a death trap.
so far, I gotta say, not hating on this game. I love the animation style. The sound is actually pretty good. Um, I, I do wish that it would pick up the pace a little bit. I, you know, being almost a half an hour into the game, you know, I figured we'd be doing something a little more than exploring the facility. Uh, but I think that's about to happen because we are seeing the lockers and little cage things that we can hide in. Looks like a la isolate, uh, alien isolation style. Uh, probably from these guys, the velociraptors, because we saw one of those kind of skirting down the hall towards the end of the video. But overall, I don't know. I need a little more action coat sink. Come on. But I am going to throw links for all of this in the description. So if you are interested in Jurassic World Aftermath and want to play it for yourself, you can grab a copy from those links below. But for me, that's going to do it today, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. You know that means the world to me. And if this was your first time coming by the channel, thank you so much for checking out what I do here at VR Gamer Dude and if you like what you see here head over to my main page man take a look through my videos I've been doing this for about five six years all the way back to the DK2 stuff and if you liked what you saw there you know what to do smash subscribe ring the bell that way you get notified the next time I do something cool in virtual reality and if you're already a subscriber here at the channel guys you know I love you going into 2021 that's right the story continues we're going to grow this channel i was really hoping to hit 10,000 by the end of the year it does look like we're going to miss that mark just a little bit but it's been one hell of a ride this year and i can't thank each and every one of you for coming along with me on that note i'm out i'll see you in the next one this is don signing off